Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. First up, it's uh, been a long time waiting, but the Mavic 4 Pro is finally released by uh, DJI. We have AVSS completing ASTM compliance for their parachute. We also have uh, Lida doing a drone training event in Ogden, Utah last week. And then finally, we'll look at a real world drone for good story out of New Mexico, which was kind of scary in a way. So let's get to it. And first up this week, DJI has finally officially pulled the wraps off the Mavic 4 Pro. And boy, the specs are something else. And, you know, we've talked about this drone for a while. This is probably the most leaked DJI product ever. And uh, we have the confirmed details now. Uh, the star of the show is the camera, the main camera, which is the four third uh, CMOS sensor, the Hasselblad sensor, uh, boasting a hundred megapixel. That's right, a hundred megapixel, which is really impressive. It's part of the triple camera system that we've seen before in, in similar drones. Uh, it has a 28, 70 and 168 millimeter lenses. Uh, giving incredible versatility. Uh, the main camera also supports the Hasselblad natural color solution, which has a dynamic aperture of uh, f2.0 to f11. The 70 millimeter medium telephoto lens has a 48 megapixel, one over 1.3 inch sensor. And then the telephoto lens, the 168 mil, has a 50 megapixel, one over 1.5 inch sensor. So a, a wide variety here of different sensors. Now for videographers, the main camera records at 6K, 60 frame per second HDR videos, which is really impressive. Uh, what's also impressive is the 16 stops of dynamic range. The medium and the telephoto camera uh, offer 4K at 60 frame per second HDR. Uh, a cool other feature is the uh, 360 degree infinity gimbal that can rotate fully and shoot uh, 70 degrees upward. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see the shots that come out of this. Hopefully it's not overplayed and not too many people use it for every situation, but I think it's a cool uh, added feature. We've seen this in the uh, the gimbals, the, the DJI gimbals in the past, they had the uh, ability to do that effect. Uh, flight time is rated up to 51 minutes with a top speed of 56 miles per hour. And it also uses the O4 plus transmission system. So the range is up to 18 miles, that's uh, 30 kilometers. Uh, there's also a new DJI DJI RC Pro 2 controller with a seven inch uh, mini LED display that kind of pops out. Uh, if you remember the controller from the Inspire series or the controller from the, um, the Phantom 4, it kind of looks like that in a way ish and then it has a four hour runtime 128 gigs of storage and it comes with the uh, dji mic compatibility the rc pro 2 controller i know you will be asking this is typically the first question we get when something new comes out it is compatible with older drones like the air 3s the air 3 and the mini 4 pro so that is good news for those that own these drones now for the not so great news especially for us in the us the mavic 4 pro is not currently available on the us market uh, dji I released a statement stating that basically it's not going to be available for sale uh, when it launches on May 13. They're not saying it's never going to be able, available, but they also said, uh, like many global companies, we have to adjust our market strategy as local conditions and the industry environments have evolved. Uh, while we do not have a timeline for when we can introduce the product on the US market, we are closely monitoring the situation and actively exploring every possible solution. Uh, with that being said, interestingly, BNH and Adorama have the Mavic 4 for sale. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Uh, I have a few more thoughts on all of this, but we're going to cover these on post-flight. Next up, some important news for enterprise operators of the Matrice 4 uh, AVSS, the Aerial Vehicle Safety Solution that's uh, based in Canada, has successfully completed ASTM F3322 compliance, F3322-24A, it's a mouthful. Uh, they've completed compliance testing for their new parachute, the uh, PRS M4S system. Uh, this system is designed specifically for the Matrice 4 series. What this means for operators is that later this month, this system is expected to be listed on the FAA's Declaration of Compliance page uh, for a Category 2 flight over people. Uh, so this is exciting. I think AV AVSS is responsible for pretty much 90 some percent of all the Category 2 systems available out there, so that's really exciting. The system itself includes an automatic triggering system, ATS, or a manual triggering device, MTD, 
Uh, the MSRP on this thing is $1,700 and AVSS is taking orders right now uh, with deliveries expected to start in June of 2025. Uh, for US customers, it's important to note that this is a Kuzma compliant uh, device and currently is exempt from any tariff, but of course tariff policies can change. Uh, this is a critical step, I think, for enterprise users out there that are looking to use the Matrice 4. Uh, I'm glad that this is an option that's available. And for our third story this week, over 250 public safety professionals from across the US have gathered in Ogden, Utah for a week-long tra drone training event. Uh, this was put on on May 5th by uh, the Weber County Sheriff's Office, hosted by the Weber County Sheriff's Office and the uh, Law Enforcement Drone Association, LIDA. Uh, if you're not familiar with LIDA, they're a great advocacy group for public safety in general, but especially for law enforcement. And they host events where agencies can get together, network, share lessons learned, and uh, all the good stuff. Uh, the training emphasized on search and rescue in this case, uh, super important obviously in Utah's rugged terrain. Uh, it also covered SWAT support, crash scene reconstruction, disaster mapping, and the uh, legal framework around drone use. Uh, it's great to see that public safety industry is kind of getting together to share all these lesson learns and then making events that uh, are very successful. So congrats on that. And finally, a real-world Drones for Good story, uh, although this is kind of a serious one, this was out of New Mexico. The Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office uh, recently released drone and body camera footage of a, an incident that occurred back in February. It involved two young brothers, age seven and nine, which is crazy, uh, who were reportedly handing a loaded gun. In this situation, the deputies deployed a drone, uh, which provided a critical vantage point for everybody involved. Uh, this allowed them to assess the situation in real time from a safe distance. And according to the sheriff, John Allen, uh, at one point, one of the boys raised the gun and pulled the trigger, but thankfully the weapon actually malfunctioned. Uh, the drone footage was instrumental here. It helped the deputies communicate with the boys and then eventually use a non-lethal round to distract them. Uh, this allowed the officers to move in and then safely secure the weapon and the children. Uh, they, the the sheriff credited his department's drone program for helping to de-escalate the situation and then also prevent what could have been a far worse outcome. Uh, he stated that this case illustrates a complex intersection of juvenile crime, mental health, and public safety. Uh, reportedly, there are no charge filed against the children. Uh, instead, the authorities have been working since the standoff to get the family access to trauma therapy, uh, medical service, and behavioral support. Uh, this really goes to show the value here of having the eyes in the sky uh, for situational awareness and for de-escalation. And there's a lot more to be said about all of these stories, which uh, doesn't always fit with the uh, YouTube guidelines, unfortunately. So for that, you can join us in the premium community for an uncensored discussion in our weekly post flight. Uh, you can find a link in the description below. Uh, I hope that we can see you there and uh, we'll see you on Monday for the live Q&A. Greg, what are your honest thoughts about the Mavic 4 not being released in the US? I think this is bull I, I do find it interesting they're calling it a 360 degree infinity gimbal, but, but Jason, it, that's that's not correct. It right? doesn't continuously turn. Uh, AVSS, <laughs> who's been kind of on fire recently with, not in a bad way, but in a yeah, yeah. figurative way. <laughs> <laughs> They've created more category two drones than anybody else. Here's a taste of what it, it, of what it tastes like to not have DJI drones in your country.